My first question, I'm gonna get on my soapbox for a minute and I'll get your your uh, your interpretation. So if I hear again, Jason Aldean controversial song, those that quote, I'm gonna kill myself because <laughs> it's not a controversial song. Obviously these people have never listened to country music and those people have never been a parent. Because when yeah. you're a dad, you protect yourself, your family, your neighborhood. Yeah, right? uh, absolutely. And you know, it's it's wild. Like, you know, you uh, put a song like that out and everybody gets to have an opinion on, on what they think that song means. And, uh, you know, and, and you're free to do that. But as the singer that singing the song and helped to create that video, I can assure you that people are, are way off base. And you're exactly right. I mean, I have four kids. Um, I'm like everybody else. I turn on the news and, and see stuff that I'm just not cool with. And, and it's not it's never going to be normal for me to right. see the things I've seen over the years. And, and it's, uh, you know, when something like this happens... You know, they, it's, it always gets brought up about race or it's this or that. It was, you know, the song mentioned a gun, so that was the first thing, and then it was race. It's just one thing after the other, and it's like, no, it's not meant to be any of those things. It's meant to show you what's going on in the world and how this is just, I, I mean, if you're okay with what's going on, like, you and I just don't see eye to eye. Right. We never will. So, right. uh, But if you get it, you get where the song's coming from, you get what it's about, then you know what I'm saying. And you've never been somebody that, like, didn't use your voice, never had a voice. I grew up listening to you. Yeah. So, and that's just something that's Think always been really cool. Old. I'm not, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No. But you, yeah, that, so it's been so important to you to constantly. Well, you know, I use think, it. yeah, I think over the last few years, especially, you know, as, uh, you know, we, we've had, we've, I think as a country, we've dealt with a lot of things that we never dealt with before, um, you know, in the last 10 years or, or whatever it's been. And so, and, and I, I just see it getting worse. You know, it's just like where it started and where it is now. To me, it's just, it's horrible. It's, it's gotten worse. It's not getting better. And uh, and I'm never going to be okay with that. And, and I have no problem speaking out about that. I know a lot of people don't. And that's completely their, you know, that's that's up to them if they want to or not. But, you know, it's hard for me to go home and, and lay my head down at night and, and, and feel like, you know, I'm doing the right thing by not speaking I just don't feel that way so uh, if I got something to say you know I kind of try to make it count and um, you know I don't talk just to hear myself talk or say things that that I feel like are just me talking it's like if I got something to say that I feel like is important I'll say it and um, if I'm, an art, I'm an artist, man, so I do that through music, and so... Uh, it's what you signed up to do Yeah, I mean, it is what yeah. it is. If you like it, cool. If you don't, don't listen. I mean, I don't know right. what to tell you. It's country music. It's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Story all right. songs and all. Let's talk about some fun stuff. How's your summer been? It's been great, man. Um, you know, just... Uh, been, I was down in Florida for a while. Uh, we we kind of live part-time in Florida, so... How is that property? It's beautiful. It's right on the beach. I love it. I yeah. love it. It's my favorite place to be. So, obviously, I'm a beach guy. I love the beach. This is a awesome thing tonight to be playing right here on on the beach so uh but it's great man summer's been great uh kids had a great time they just started school in the last week or so yeah so it's uh it's been wild but you know now tour tour life is back in full effect and and uh you know we're we're doing our thing so we've talked to a lot of artists a lot of upcoming artists in the last few weeks and we asked them you know who do you look up to and your name has come up a lot really gotta make you feel good Yeah. yeah i appreciate that i mean it's, uh, you know, I've always tried to be really cool to some of the young artists that are coming up. I mean, I had guys that were that were really cool to me, kind of took me under their wing when I was on the way up. And, um, you know, and I always thought that was really cool. I was, you know, getting into this business. I'd been playing for years, but not on this stage, you know, not on this level. And, um, you know, a lot of times you come in as a young artist, it's a little overwhelming when you, you know, go from playing a bar to, like, playing this kind of stuff. And. Uh, and so I've always tried to be cool to those guys and, and kind of help them out and answer any questions they got. And, and you know, so uh, well, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad they I'm glad they uh, yeah. they said that. I appreciate yeah. that. All right. We have our famous Cat Country five questions for you, Jason Aldean. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, hell. This is usually where I get myself in trouble. Right. Fire away. I love right. it. What's the oldest thing you own? Oldest thing I own? Um, wow. See, that's a good question. That's tough, man. Um, probably... <laughs> be another controversial answer um no i the song i have a a a gun that my grandmother gave to my dad and my grandfather and my grandfather had his name uh kind of carved into the stock of the gun it's like my dad's first gun he ever got and so uh so i have that that my dad got when he was like 15 years old and and, uh i think that's the oldest thing i got i'm pretty sure it's older than my Glock. So it's older than me. It's older than me, and I'm old. We've already established Stop that earlier. It. I'm never going to put that down now. Question number two. Who would you like to sing with? That you, that have you haven't already. Chance to, yeah. 
you know, I've checked off a lot of the guys that I, you know, really idolized growing up. Um, you know, pretty much all my heroes, you know what I mean? So, uh, there's, you know, there's some pop acts I think would be cool. Guys like Post Malone, you know, I think would be I great. I can totally see that. And uh, we actually FaceTimed the other day. So, really? we, yeah, so we'll, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of his. I think he's a big fan of country music. And, and um, you know, so that, that would be a guy posty. that I... I that, a posty. that would be a guy I think would be cool. So, we'll see. All right, next question. This is a weird one. What weird nickname do you, did you have for a former neighbor that you had? A nickname for a neighbor? For example. You, it could be a bad one. Some of mine were Mr. Lawn Boy, the Crazy Cat Lady, the, uh, the, the, walk, the of walk of Shame That's Queen. Awful. <laughs> uh, Everyone has The Walk one. of Shame Queen. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it, I don't know if my answers would be good for radio. It's like <laughs> it's not on the radio yet. Like, hey, asshole, cut your grass. You know what I mean? <laughs> so maybe that maybe asshole. There you go, there you go. Growing up, Jason Aldean, who was your hero? Oh. Um musically or just in general? In general. In general, uh, you know, I think my parents, man, really, they, they divorced when I was three years old. Um, you know, they both kind of grew up in Georgia, you know, really in the projects. And didn't really come from much and kind of got out of that and made a, you know, a good living for themselves and for me. And, um, you know, really kind of supported me when I started playing music and those kind of things. And when I played ball, like all those things. So they're just always really supportive of everything I wanted to do. And even now, like, you know, they've been divorced for 40 years, 40 something years. And uh, they both still come over to our house. They hang out. They're really good friends. Yeah, and so yeah, cool. so it's right. it's been a really cool thing. So I got a lot of respect for them. As far as your career goes, do you have anybody that you you still see as a mentor and, and you bounce ideas sure. off of? Well, I mean, you know, there's a lot of guys. I mean, I always there's a lot of guys that I look up to. Guys like George Strait and you know people like that. Um, Randy Owen from Alabama, who I've gotten to be really close with over the he's years. So nice. Yeah, he's, he's so nice. And to be nice. Alabama's my favorite I'm band of all time. So um, you know, guys like that, but. The guy for me that we kind of hit the scene about the same time, we've always kind of been tracking, you know, this, about the same as, as Luke, Brian. And uh, Luke and I, you know, he's one of, been one of my best friends for 15 years or whatever. And so I think That's for... wild to me. That's yeah. like 15 years. So for both of us, it's like whenever something pops up, you know, if he gets... People start dragging him through the mud in the media, you know, he calls me. He's like, man, what do I do, you know? And then... There's stuff that I'll call him and be like, hey, man, you ever kind of had to deal with this? And so he and I are ones that we kind of bounce stuff off each other and kind of look out for each other. And, and um, so he's, he's kind of my guy. Awesome. Jason Aldean, thanks for joining us on Cat Country. Absolutely, man. Thank you guys for having me.